Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So I think this is going to be the most incredible video that I've made, if not one of the most incredible. Because in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I am designing and creating literally something which has never been made before. It is really crazy and I'm doing all of this for my final year research project. A new story straight out of South Africa. A YouTuber by the name of Sipo Chocha is on the rise. I'm here with the great, the mighty, the one and only Sipo Chocha. show you guys the videos of me manufacturing all this stuff just for like really quickly i'm just going to give you guys a breakdown of what i'm doing so i'm not just machining stuff and you guys don't even understand what i'm doing at budger we have that car the budger car and normal cars so i'm investigating the drivetrain for my final year research and normal cars have what's called a prop shaft system at least um, four-wheel drive cars and that's literally just the shaft which takes power from your engine to the four wheels. So your rear and front wheels. So they use a literal shock. But at Budger, we literally flipped this on his head and we decided to use a bounce. And that's literally not done anyway. You'll, you won't find a car on the road that does that. So we're doing it purely for experimental purposes. So for my final research, I'm investigating whether this is actually a better option or like, is it more feasible to use this belt than a prop shop. Just like a 30 second explanation of what I'm specifically doing is I'm looking at the torque. So torque, you can think of it as a rotational force. It causes things to rotate. So I'm looking at when you vary torque in the belt, what happens to your tension in the belt on the tight side and on the slack side. So when you have a belt that's rotating, you'll always have a slide that's tighter than the other side. So that's why you call it tight and slack. And so basically that's what I'm doing my research on. So I've created a mathematical model of what I think is supposed to happen. And now I need to create a test setup for an experimental model to actually see what is actually happening. And for that, I just need to attach sensors called load cells. And these load cells can pick up the force on the tight and slack side of the belt.
Nobody finer You want more than million Tougher than silicon Nobody finer Day Two Night Take Me Wine Slow Wine It's about the time The The Did you give it to me but Don't miss man He's good in the heat of battle, he don't miss. No. In the heat of controversy, he don't miss. No. Yeah, guys, I just wanted to talk a bit about what's going on. So, um, I'm just going to take a break in the video to say this, because I think it's so important. I know when you guys watch this video, you know, I can already tell, you know the comments, you know, guys, y'all are going to be like, yo, bro, this is so cool. Where can I sign up for engineering? Yo, D, this is dope. You know, and that's true. I mean, what I'm doing is cool. And I mean, I am creating something out of nothing. You know, taking an idea from my head and putting it into something in reality which will work, which won't break under stresses and forces. You know, it does take a, some skill to do that. So I'll give that to myself. And hence, yes, the videos do look cool. But I think it's so important that you guys understand that these YouTube videos are not also a whole reflection of what's going on because you only see the final products and, you know, um, me being done. Like, you don't see everything in behind. Like, even now, my finger's bleeding because my hand is cut in, like, 10 places from all of this manufacturing, you know. You guys, you don't see those parts. Even now, it's, like, half past nine. I still need to do schoolwork because I've been manufacturing the whole day. So I'm probably going to sleep at like 2 in the morning. I haven't eaten, so I'm going to sleep at about 2, 3 in the morning. You know, for the past two weeks, I haven't slept before 2 a.m. So it's like, so I'm like fatigued, constantly fatigued. I'm under so much pressure for deadlines, you know. And even making these YouTube videos is hard because it takes time. And I think those are the parts that you guys don't see, like, me crashing out today like i was literally crashing out guys like you were it was yo today was tough 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 on me personally like mentally it's very tough and physically too but i think for me more mentally you know and you going to bed uncertain like am i even gonna pass you know so it's it's, it's a lot of mind games and it's very taxing mentally and like it's very easy for you to break mentally under pressure like that and you know even i myself there's been times where i've also just broken down and those are the parts that i don't show in the youtube videos but it's it's important to know that what you guys are seeing on youtube yeah my content is cool and all but it does take its toll its toll on you because it is a tough degree it is difficult and i just wanted you guys to see that side of it too not just the glamour and the you know the nicely edited youtube videos but also the real uncut raw truth of it so especially if you're wanting to come into mechanical engineering it's a good degree and i definitely recommend it but it is quite tough it's about the time the, the, did you give it to me time on the road, time on the road. Kana, oh, Kana. girl you bust my head kana you can't join me my champagne yeah. Slow it down like you just don't care We got girl, come a vibe to my team Oh my god, she got me in my jeans Like a remote me control, yeah I wanna take you to Ibiza Too hard than my top topper If late I can hop on my border Then I call me big don't dada Put it too big don't fit in a Range Rover Ah yeah It's about the time the, the, Did you give it to me? It's about the time the, 
that Cause you give it to me Time on Now look at that, you can't tell me that doesn't look good. So yeah, after all of that cooking and all of that everything guys, it's literally half past 11. I end up with this beauty of a meal. So we can do some examples. We can say, for example, sex. You know, that's an even integer. So can we write it as the sum of the primes? So those are numbers that only divide by themselves and by one. So for six, it's just three plus three. And we can do more and more numbers, so 10, for example, would be, you know, 5 plus 5, but also 7 plus 3. There's one I want to do, one extra, which is your favorite number, 42. 42! What makes it up? 37 and 5. 37! Yeah. But there's also a sort of nicer, more methodical way of 
writing this out and it will help us build some intuition. We'll start by drawing two diagonal lines. I'm building my pyramid, a pyramid of prime numbers. So we're going to start at the top, we're going to write down two, and we'll write down three, five, this is going to be a good test of how well I know my primes. Then we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line from each prime. Can you see where this is going? Uh, and where they cross is every sum. Yeah. Now we can start adding them. So we get 2 plus 2. 4. 4. 3 plus 3. 6. 6. You can see we're starting to get all these numbers. The main point here is just, as you go down, not only do you see all the even numbers appear, but they also seem to appear more frequently. And it seems like it should always happen. And of course, the conjecture is that it does always happen. And that's known as the Goldbox 